Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a tag video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a hot second, so I'm excited to be filming this. I saw my friend Things by the Burke do this video and I thought it was a fun one, so I decided to go ahead and answer these questions myself. She said she saw this video on Agape Love Girls channel and she wasn't sure where it originated. So I'm just going to link both of them in my description box. If you guys happen to know who created this tag, please let me know down in the comments. And I do apologize in advance for not researching who created the tag, but I will try and find it and put it down in my description box so you guys can check out all of those videos. If you are a content creator, I definitely tag you guys and I would love to see you guys do this video. I thought it had some really fun questions. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So the first question is, have you ever blocked someone on Instagram? <laughs> uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> I have definitely blocked some people on Instagram. Majority are trolls. There's definitely like a few, like, um, I don't want to say like my family, like, Nobody like blood relatives to me, but there are some Snoopy like bees that have too much time and so all they want to do is like bring other people down and like I don't have time for that. So yeah, I've definitely blocked a few people on Instagram. I know it's not good to be salty, but if you guys can relate, let me know. <laughs> Spilling some tea here. No, I mean realistically, it's nobody like YouTubers, nothing like that, but it was just like Oh God, mm. yeah, someday I'll tell you guys the story. Number two, do you envy other YouTubers? I would say so. I would, I would be lying if I said I didn't. I'm not perfect. I like nice things. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of bigger YouTubers have a lot of really nice things. You guys know I have like a slight addiction to designer goods. Can't afford them all, so I love seeing like unboxings and like, oh, when Michelle Wong unboxed that Chanel bag she got, oh, it was so beautiful. It was like a Chanel Resort bag that she got a couple of months ago. It's so beautiful. But of course I'm envious, but I'm so happy that there's so many successful women on YouTube. So usually for me, it's not really ever makeup envy, but definitely like stuff. Cause I, like I said, I love nice things. So it's always like, you know, I'm like, whoo, I wish I could have that. Maybe someday I will, who knows? And of course, also like some people are amazing at makeup, like amazing skills, amazing personalities, amazing editing styles. Like there's so much to be envious of. I mean, I don't feel like that's a bad thing necessarily. I think it's also partially adm admiration. Is that the right word? But yeah, sorry. I hope I didn't sound salty. I'm not, I just think it's really cool that People have nice things. Number three, have you ever answered back to comments in a rude way? Um, I try really hard not to. I sometimes, I think a few years ago, I may have made a few missteps in how I responded to comments. And I think now from my perspective, I always assume every comment is an innocent comment. I assume that people are just coming from a good place, even if they're not, and I try to be kind. And if I can't be kind, all I say is like, thank you, and like a heart. And I like move on because I don't want to start fighting with people on the internet. It never ends well. People don't understand and that's okay. It's just everyone has a right to their own opinion and I just don't have the time to start fights on the internet. That's something I've always had to like keep in the back of my mind. I always try to reel it in. I don't try to escalate situations because it's not worth it. And honestly, <laughs> like I have a Twitter and I swear Twitter is the worst. Like I try to stay off of Twitter because, oh, it's like a cesspool of like drama every time I tweet something I feel like I get in trouble one time I tweeted that people should be more I don't know what it was it was something to do with ABH and people were livid with me and I'm like dude I'm at work like I don't have time to have like internet fights with people <laughs> um, so yeah it's <laughs> so I just always try to be nice because I 
I don't have time to get in fights. Number four, which is your favorite video you've ever done? I honestly think my favorite video is my eyeshadow palette collection video. You guys know I'm an eyeshadow palette junkie. So just sitting there, like I love watching people's eyeshadow palette collections. And so I just love that video because it shows my collection. I got to talk about eyeshadow palettes for like an hour. It's what I love. And then another favorite video was the one I did with Amy and Angelica, two of my best friends here on YouTube. We did a collab where each of us bought a different Huda palette when she did those nudes. And so it was really fun. We got a lot of really good feedback from subscribers on that one because you guys all really enjoyed seeing each of our skin tones play with a different palette. And I just thought that was a little bit of a unique video um, in the YouTube beauty sphere because usually it's just one person playing with all three and I thought it was really a fun way for us to collab. So that was a really fun video for me. Number five, what video are you embarrassed about? Uh, you know, I mean, hmm. <laughs> I think all of my old videos are still up. I have videos from when I was in college, just like awkwardly sitting there in front of my webcam going, um, um, this and this brush and Irene Decay and like I was, I don't know, I was young and nervous and trying things out for the first time. So I'm not really embarrassed, but I'm sure like people would probably cringe if they went back and watched them, but that's okay. That's life. Number six, have you had any problems with other YouTubers? I haven't had like problems necessarily like with other YouTubers. If I did, I feel like I would hopefully have the maturity to just like address the person myself without like uh, passive aggressively tweeting or Instagramming. I feel like that happens way too much in this space. So yeah, I just, I haven't personally, I don't think I've had any problems. Maybe I'm really bad at remembering shit, so it's possible that I've pissed somebody off and I have no idea. I think that's where it's important for people to just directly address the person that they have beef with because sometimes people are just busy living their lives and they don't even know they've hurt your feelings. So I think it's always good to just like, just tell people how you feel and like move it along, you know? Like don't like, fester and like harbor shit. It's not worth it. Number seven, what would you change on your channel? What would I change on my channel? Oh my gosh. I think what I would change about my channel, that's a hard one. I really feel like I'm doing my best right now with my content. I wish of course always to have really really good ideas and things like that so obviously just coming up with unique perspectives and ideas for videos would always be nice if I had somebody that could you know just magically like every day I just had this like million dollar idea like that would be nice um other than that I feel like I I kind of feel like I'm happy where I'm at um can always strive for better quality better editing things like that but yeah <laughs> No, that one's a hard one. Oh gosh. Okay, number eight. Have you ever been inspired by or copied another YouTuber? I would say yes, 100%. I'm always being inspired by other YouTubers. I'm filming this video because I was inspired by Things by the Berg because she did this video. So 100% always being inspired. Copying is kind of like a dirty word on the internet these days. But yeah, of course, I've copied concepts. I do Will I Buy videos. Those are 100% inspired by Samantha March and Angie does them, Amy does them. There's so many creators that do those videos. So yes, always inspired by other women on this platform. Number nine, have you ever disliked another YouTuber? Yeah, <laughs> of course, because at the end of the day, just because you have a YouTube channel, that doesn't make you special. And just like people that aren't on YouTube that sometimes you just don't get along with or you have different personalities, there's YouTubers that I've never met that I do dislike <laughs> and that's okay. I'm sure there's plenty of people that watch my channel and hate it, like all those people that thumbs down my videos, boo. Um, but yeah, it happens, it's okay, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, there's no one like I have like any personal vendettas against, but like I remember back in the day, um, Lucia Temper, what was her name? The, I was really into her content. She was like 
a major like no buyer type person and I really was inspired by her and then she had like this drama but the other day it was so funny I think I must have been so bored that I actually looked up her channel and it seems like she's really turned it around and she is who she is true to herself living her best life and so now I'm like cool like you know so yeah I mean it ebbs and flows like relationships are very very complicated and so yeah it's never like I don't think I like personally have any YouTubers that I dislike. There are some people that make very interesting choices where I'm like, mm, 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 or you know, who they are friends with, or you can like, sometimes you can see the drama coming. You just can, I don't know. Maybe that's like a weird skill that I have like, but yeah, I don't know, whatever. So <laughs> I don't, I don't dislike anyone. On, on YouTube that I know, that I've met. None of those people I dislike, but there's people I've never met that I think are crap, but they're probably actually really nice people. <laughs> but that's the internet. Number 10, do you have a fake account to do things you don't do with your real account? I don't have any fake accounts. Um, I do have a Target account called all I want is Target because I love Target and I thought that would be fun. So I use that account. I don't ever like go use that account to like like photos on my main account or anything like that. But I do have that account. I also have access to my work Instagram page, which is terrifying because I'm always like worried that I'm going to accidentally post like a makeup picture on my work. Can you imagine? Oh my god. I would die of freaking embarrassment. Luckily, Karen Harris makeup, my Instagram gets more views than my work page, so I feel like I would notice fast enough where I could take it down, but shit happens, it is what it is. But yeah, that is everything for this tag. I will leave the questions down in my description box. If you would like to answer them in my comments, you are more than welcome to. And like I said, if you are a creator, definitely feel free to make this video. I think you guys will have so, so much fun doing it. And I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.